what is going on guys and welcome back to another video so last week i made a poll on the channel that if you guys wanted to see on the monday series the monday review series all the cars other than jdm cars and for today's video we got the boy andrew here and gabby What's up, guys? and guys? combined horsepower between these two cars is like 1600 yeah just just about easily easily <laughs> so andrew is the owner of the uh, midori EK, ek that you guys have seen yep. which we will further That's down the works the right now Further down the line, we're going to be making some more videos. And Gabby is the good buddy who's probably even worked on the EK too, right? Yeah. You know, and has Something's. definitely worked on these two cars. So let's go ahead and get the episode started. Let's see what they brought. All right, so I'm here with Gabby. Gabby, so this is a Grand National. Um, what year is this car, man? 87, last year. Awesome, awesome. This is what they used to call back in the days the official V8 killer, V6 turbos. Uh, they say. That's what they say. So, so how much horsepower is in this thing? Right now, it's probably locked in at like about at, uh, like six and six and change as a crank. Six and change as yeah. a crank. And you done the quarter mile with this car? Yeah, yeah. How much have you ran? Uh, just uh, I think about a few weeks ago. I, Went fastest 1050s, uh, 120, 128 and change. I think. Was it a couple of passes, or you think we could better that two, number? I made two passes. No, it kept going faster as, as I kept going, so I just stopped it there. <laughs> yeah, I got you, got you, got you. And and this car obviously has had a repaint. Paint is immaculate. Yeah. But yeah, the secret to this car is that how many miles does it have? It's got fifty four thousand original miles. Oh, original miles. Yeah. That's insane. All documented and well, do actually well documented to say. All right. So and this is because we have another one here that we're gonna go into another scene. There's different options from these two because I see that the other one doesn't have the sunroof. This one does have the sunroof. So what are some of the options that this one brought, you know, differently than the other one? Well, this one, this one came fully option. It has not one option missing on it. Okay, so this is the full it, package. A full package. It even came down with the, the GNX training cooler, which which I, I, really, I didn't even think that exists only but on the GNX, but apparently this one even had that one and it came with it. Um, and this is I, not a GNX. No, it's not a GNX. I just do. I do have the badge on it because that way I can far away. I can disquinch, which is my car. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> what, and what is the difference between the GNX and, and and this one? The GNX to begin with it was uh was only they only made 547 of them. They were limited. Uh, they were up to they were up to another 100 and 100 horses and 100 foot pounds of torque. Um, it was taken to AC McLaren, where gotcha. they did a bunch of. They did a <coughs> I can go into the details if you want me to go into the details, but... No, no, yeah, go ahead, you go ahead. Uh, the details were, in the GNX were, uh, let's go to the engine. The engine, they, they supposedly uh, upgraded the turbocharge by putting a ceramic impeller. Uh, the intercooler was redesigned. Um, the exhaust was redesigned to less back pressure. The rear suspension was upgraded to a ladder bar or pan rod bar. Um, the, that, the cluster instrument panel was upgraded to a store wooden gauges, all, all mechanical gauges. Um, the, 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 cent the center, the, the dash plaque was replaced. Well, actually was, was there, but was given a, a, a number of the car. So you, know, you were numbered, the cars were the numbered. The car was numbered and it was on the dash where it said Grand National, it said it'd be Grand National, it have an overlay saying the GNX number. Number by some. And you had a foot, you had a jacket, you had a jacket to cover the car and you had a, you had a, they gave you a, a pamphlet with all this all the information of the gnx the history of it all the stuff that was developed at ac mclaren gotcha gotcha also that's another thing i was telling you that they also added side fender uh, gills to vent out the heat out of the engine they were up they were upgraded with uh, seven, uh 17 inch no sorry 16 inch wheels uh fitted with 245s in the front 255s with uh exterior louvers installed on all four corners wow that's yeah. a lot of stuff that they did on the GNX. Yeah, right? sure it was. For wow. a for dozen, ten thousand dollar upgrade, it was. So it was a ten thousand dollar upgrade back 000, in the days. Yeah, and then and then some dealers were taking bids up to thirty to forty thousand above sticker wow. price. So what can you find a GNX nowadays? Oh God, good yeah. condition. Something over a hundred grand, maybe. Uh, something was like well, well taken care of. Low miles. Type. With, 
Oh, a little miles. Uh, it's, you can buy a house for that. I mean, you're talking about maybe from <laughs> between 160 to 200 grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending on the miles, just depending on the miles. One, I wonder how many are there still going around. Probably yeah. aren't a few. Yeah, right? there's a, there's a few out there. There's a few out there. Some out there that people just meant to just driven it and they won't take care of it. And those are worth six between 50 to 60, maybe 80 thousand. And Some those that and those that are just beat up and uh, right dug and they really drove them to the piss. They could be anywhere from 40 grand yeah. based that you know. Yeah. So let's get into this car, man. So this is an 87. Yeah. Um, what wheels you got on it? Because I see it's you got have... centerline Telestars. Okay. 15 by 4 in the front and 15 by 10 in the back. Huge, di huge difference. Obviously, the skinny yeah. ones in the front. Um, it's every it's so mint, man. Like every yeah. molding and everything on it is yeah, on there. Look let's look at the interior now. I mean, besides, I don't have too much cages. I didn't try to. I try to keep it as close to stock than what it was because you know I didn't want a race car. Like I had my other race car. You saw the right. white one. That one had a bunch of gauges. And this one just keep it simple. You know, this is the important thing. Boost, Regular boost ratio, gauge here. And, master, which is, and the yeah. AM fuel. Well, I think if you have this car, you need that scan master to tell you. Yeah, you need that because that's pretty much uh, everything I can see off. Like I can read off to the computer of the car, which is called the ECM. You know. And these came with this, or you did you no, custom came, made yeah, it? They came with the they came with the, all dry nationals came with the etching of the turbo six emblem on it. Yeah, course. which is kind of like that yeah. turbo. The only thing I upgraded here was the, the C cushion, uh, the arm oh, cushion. Oh, the arm yeah, cushion. That's so. Gotcha, man. This is so man. AC and everything, huh? AC and everything. Yeah. Crazy. You got the original rugs. Uh, wow. Carpeting the floor mats are aftermarket. Those are upgraded by somebody, but they're not the original carpet. They're not the original uh, carpet. Okay. ones will be a, there will be a rubber one. The CGM on it. Gotcha. You got the Which body. I got right my home put away. Oh, you have the original yeah, one? Yeah, I got to put away at home. So, man, man. So, let's get into the engine, guys, and we'll show you guys how clean this is. A lot of stuff here, man. But yeah. what, talk to me about it. What do you? What are some of the mods you got on it? Um, Upgraded turbo. I see the you. motor. The original motor I pulled out of the car. Gotcha. I put it away. I, I built. I built this one. I built this one from down from the bottom all the way to the top. Um, I, I got a. I was able to find a, a stock block virgin. Um, I filled it in with white, uh, but only on racing pistons. I uh, can't remember the size. Um, I put some. Uh, mo uh, I think there were uh, scat rods. It's got a stock. It's got a stock crank because I am known for the man for the fastest, fastest Buick on a stock crank. Really? On a stock crank until it broke. After I swapped the transmission to a 400 and with a tighter converter under the load, it just it just broke. It gave after like about close to a thousand horses. It just gave. Wow. Uh, this crank is a little different than the one I used to have on my white car. So this one would have had it. If I would have had this crank in the white car, it probably last me a little longer. Right. This one supposedly has some work done to it. It was it was passed down to me from Bill from Champion. From his, off of his race car he had on a stage motor the pistons also were handed down to me the so yeah now sorry to cut you off yeah. the easter egg of this car, no, that this car the easter egg that this car has is that it was owned by one of the oh, gentlemen I, I told him about the story about the, ca Gale. the car was the, the the guy who who i bought the car from was a private collector he has a bunch of cars and this car when he bought it he had given it to joe gibbs for, I don't know I don't know how long he had it they, uh, they pretty much just tuned it they pretty much put a chip into it they made it a little bit faster in stock than what it was and uh, I think they had a cheetah turbo they put it they put a turbo tweak chip and and they put a, a airflow meter or translators now which I eliminated all that stuff because I went to speed density and gotcha. I run so I still run the turbo tweak because I Eric and I go way back on the stuff and we did a lot of R&D and but so I so give him a lot of, of credit for this because if it wasn't for him I, I couldn't be where I was at and I couldn't put up these numbers that some of these half of these people still don't believe that I, that I did on a, on a stock computer. On a stock computer, yeah. We got the upgraded turbo. One thing that kind of calls me out and I see it is the strap here holding the alternator. Yeah, because this time th on this motor when I put it in, I, I didn't want to put those the, the, the I didn't want to put those uh the solid HR, mounts. I, I didn't want to put the solid HR mounts. And I ended up filling it in with stock or uh, new stock motor mounts and I went back with the old school, you know, thinking I wasn't gonna go really even as fast as we were going as we're going now. I thought it was gonna go maybe 11 O's, 
But you know, it actually had, it actually you know it actually ran what it is faster. It's actually the motor's faster. It's just the turbo's limited to it. To it. Um, yeah, and I put that for safety just to make sure that I don't rip the motor mount on the side. So no, and I'm sure it does its job. Yeah, it does its job. I'm, I'm sure, sure it does. does its that shock has been transferred. Old school tech right there. Yeah, and that's and that that's been passed down from my white car, so which I had for Crazy. 20 20 years. So there's so much torque in these vehicles that you just have to have a strap in order uh, for not to yeah, break yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this one probably has like 700 and change. Jesus. And the, and the upgraded motor mounts, with that, you you wouldn't you need you wouldn't right? to You wouldn't need, have to, you wouldn't need, you wouldn't need to run that shackle yeah. and that strap. I don't strap. run it on mine. You don't run it on yours? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we'll definitely get into that car now. This is whole video. It's on both of these cars. So we get, we're going to get into that one over there. That one's making some... How much is that one making over there, Andrew? Right now, it's it's down about 24 pounds. It's ran at uh, mid-30s. Mid-30s? Went 980s at 140. It still could have gone a bit more. We have a lot left in it. But right yeah. now, it's at 24, 25 pounds for the street. Um, Safety. Sh should be making seven and change. Wow. So, I mean, these cars are non-stop work. So, and I, I definitely want to hear more about the engine. And we were talking off camera. So, the fuel system and all that stuff that you're running. E85. I'm running on E85. I've been on E85 for, for about more than 10 years. I've been experimenting with this on the Buick, which nobody, nobody, I don't believe nobody was really, that I know of, I was really R&Ding with E85. And like, then again, like I said, Eric and I, you know, he hooked me, he, he cooked me up a program and we went back and forth until we got it down right. But ever, went, ever since I saw the power that we can do with the E85, I said, I never looked at race fuel again. Well, they're both running on E85. Yes, both cars are running on E85. Every, I built that car completely from, yeah. from front to back. Well, definitely got to get into that car. That car, is, this is more, this is still a, a drag car, race car, yeah, whatever, but this yeah. is a bit more showy than, yeah, than yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's no, kind of like, uh, we got to go through that one, then the ultimate box, AC. we got to. Still yeah. has AC, yeah. all the. All factory, the components. Future comforts. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what that is. You're making all this. What is it? Cruise control? control? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got cruise control. So you got all this power and you still got all the comfortability of being. Yeah. Yeah. Of being from the dealer. Yeah. And drive to the track and drive home. Windshield washer. <laughs> everything on it, huh? Drive everything. <laughs> Upgraded injectors. What injectors are you running on? It's got 160 pounders, Racetronics. Yeah. All right, Gabby, so um, as far as transmission and stuff like that, what is, what is some of the work you got on the transmission? The transmission, when I got the car, it was, it was, it was built by somebody. It was, something was done to it. So, I mean, apparently when I put this motor in together and I, dropped, and I swapped out the converter that was in it because it had a Vigilante converter, which I ended up put, upgrading to a PTC converter. Uh, that one that I, that I bought off of Dusty Bradford, which him and I also, he's a very good guy in, in the world of Buicks, and he knows the stuff about converters and stuff like that and everything else in general. Um, it's got the we line went, lock and all that stuff. It's got line lock. Yeah, the line lock has to do the train, but yeah, it has a line lock to do the burnout and the burnout box. Yeah. Which you'll see videos in your in your video. You'll see at the track performance. You'll see the actual car do the burnout and do the track performance on the on, the, on your video soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Um, the transmission, I, I we went, when we put this motor in, we went to the track and uh, I noticed that something's up with the transmission. I was telling him, Andy. Okay. So nothing. We had it. Went back and uh, ended up buying all the parts. I remember. I don't do much transmissions. I don't, I don't. I'm not a guy that does transmission all the time, but I do remember a little bit some here and there. Right. Which I yeah, ended up had to redo once my white one. So we bought it down, and I I bought some a few parts from CK perform Chris from CK. I bought his. That's I bought his best pump, his bullet pump. I bought his. Um, I bought his. I bought his uh, media drum. I bought a. I bought a. I bought a clutches. I bought. A, I bought all, all the auto clutches, the red clutches that I was gonna need. The, his, I switched over his his to his shift kit. So nothing. We put it back together and um, nothing built it. Just nothing built it, huh? Nothing built it. Just a built anchor pin that I remember breaking on the factory one on the on the, on the on the factory one on the other transmission. I upgraded that and nothing. I put it together and and it's, it's holding really, up. It's holding up for you know four years, you know. So it's been four years since uh, you've done. I think three or four years. I think if I remember, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. And and I mean, and you baby, but motor, you, but you motor, get on the it. motor was built three years ago, so shortly the transmission was done months after that. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I, I, I you know, I drive it easy. And only yeah. when I go to the track is when it, get, it gets, yeah, it gets, it, you know, it gets, it gets pounded needs, on when it needs, to, when it needs to get done. Yeah, <laughs> like, but she's definitely not a trailer queen. She's no, you, you have it, fun with her. I drive it to the track. I drive it home. I drive it to the meets. Yeah, the track is about 130 miles. Yeah, mm -hmm. so took a good hour and 45 way, minutes uh, away. Way, well, so. back and forth. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, PBIR, right? That's not what the new name is. Palm Beach International Raceway. Yeah, Palm Beach International Raceway. And um. The differential was um, differential is pretty much stock. All I did was upgraded the the axles. I put Mosier axles. Okay. Um, replaced the rear the rear wheel cylinders because uh, they were a little leaking, so I had to replace those when I got into that. 
What about uh, the gears? Like what? What it's gears? Got it's got the stock gears, three forty two. Three forty two. Which, which uh, I'm still. Uh, it's holding up so far. What I'm worried about is I don't want. I don't want. I don't want a tooth or three to break while I'm on the track doing something. But uh, aren't those a little bit longer, like for a track, like three forty? No, three forty two is about the. It's about the decent gear for it's this combination because you know my white car. I had different set of gears. I had uh three twenty threes on the on my white car. A little bit one. longer. Yeah, and that seemed to like it. And this car it seems to like this the three forty twos. You know. All right, so. You know, there's a lot of differences when it comes to the other car and this one, but we're going to finish this one off first. We're going to get into the other one. So, Gabby, what for we were talking about, we finished off on the rear end. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and besides were, besides the actual upgrades that I did uh, for Bossier, I also installed the H&R anti, anti sway bar where it helps the car leave leveled. So gotcha. that, all, that cr all that trash for the airbags and all that crap, that's, that's gone. That's all Even though I do have the airbags in there, they're just sitting in there, but they're not really doing the purpose anymore. I already got the, the bar in there. And for the for the on the back of the car, the fuel system, you are you, are you running an eight gallon? It's no, it's got a it's got a stock it's got a stock fuel tank. It's got the stock tank in there, which got uh, it's filled in with Racetronics badass double pump, the two double, the twin double pumpers for ethanol. For ethanol. Close to like it's like seven, it's like close to eight hundred liters per hour. Gotcha. Does it burn a lot of gas? No. Well, E eighty five burns. No, a little it burns. Bit. Uh, it's not bad. I can go to I can go to here to all. I can drive all the way to West Palm Beach on a full tank. On a full tank. Yeah, it still has something left, and but not to race. Left. But not, to, not safe to race. Not safe to race. No, no, no. no. Definitely not. All right, so we finished reviewing that one. We're gonna get into this one now. This one, it's more of your show, not more of your track car. This is more, Andrew built this car to be more of a track car, more to probably beat on it a little, a little bit. I mean, I'm not sure if he beats on it too much, but here and there, you know, we'll, we'll get into it. Um, it is also an 87, right? 84? Uh, this is an 86. It has an 87 grill. It's an 87 grill. Okay. Yeah. So this is you get. You're the second owner of this car. Uh, actually, well, the, the car was kind of handed down. Um, from my dad, um, he bought it in '89 from a dealer with uh, the help of my grandfather's uh, kind of a push. Um, and ever since then, it's been it's, it's been, been the part family. of the family. Yep. Yeah. And then, so, then handed down to you. So since uh, since high school, I started messing around and getting into the car scene. You know, the car uh, just kind of sat around. My dad would drive it here and there, and you know, the car. It was it was obvious that 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 I liked cars a lot and you know um, I was gonna end up doing stuff with it. So uh, so how does it go? Like okay, so you know we filmed the EK and this is more of a personal question. Like how does it feel for you driving this 700 horsepower beast to having your EK yeah. and, and being as clean as it is? To me, to me personally, it's a, it's it's kind of like a take on like the best of both worlds. Right. I I purposely didn't build the the Civic to to go fast even right. though you can make them go fast and right. now we're doing the case swap and all that stuff but oh we still, just let in on the easter egg yeah it still doesn't compare to anything like this right um, no no and then i don't think if i, I mean we would have to go like will. it never you know, will this car exactly. you drive it and you know we get even on the way here we got a couple thumbs up you know it's just a different type of vehicle yeah. um being a car enthusiast we we enjoy both yeah. or both worlds you know yeah, the yeah. jdm side absolutely. and the american side absolutely so um, let's get into it real quick. Yeah. so when it comes to the interior you obviously see it's way more built than the other this is this is kind of far from stock already when it comes to the yeah. interior um wasn't ideally maybe the uh the first uh path that we were going to take with it but right um this car was built actually when when this uh local eighth mile track was here in miami called called um the one down at okeechobee was yeah it, down at okeechobee right. yeah was which is county line drag county line driveway. Yeah, yeah, yeah which unfortunately is not here anymore but uh this car was pretty much an intentionally built just to go there and have fun on friday and saturday nights uh being like the local eighth mile track right that you know you could drive have fun and and, and just go back home but since then you know um it's kind of just kept its form and but and you've ran the quarter mile. You told me off camera you were I've doing gone, nines. It's been it's been a few years that I've gone to the quarter mile. Yeah, it went 980 at 140. Um, could easily go more. Um, 
But yeah, we've actually upgraded a lot of things since then. We've upgraded all the suspension a bit more. Right. And uh, did the roll cage? The roll cage. You've done the roll cage the roll a while ca back. Yeah, right? the roll cage is uh, was was done with a good friend of me Gabby. and Gabby's back in the day, Carlos. Oh, it came out really good. Yeah. You got the bucket seats on it. Good job. Yeah. Um, you see the line lock there in the middle. You have it right there in the middle. It's got a line lock here. This is the button for the trans brake. Uh, we, we could go into the, the transmission setup right. a little later. And the shifter you're running is a is that a, that's a hearse, right? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a three speed. Hearse three speed hearse with a pistol grip. Gotcha, gotcha. He's definitely packing a punch. All right, let's get into the engine, man. I can't wait to see this. All right, so we're here in the engine. A little bit on it, uh, Andrew. I'll leave that to you. To tell me everything on it yeah it's got um it's, it's not the original block that it came with but it's a it's still a buick 109 block which is the the 3.8 v6 right. um it's uh, actually a stroker okay yep um so it's not 3.8 anymore no so it's a little bit more yeah uh it's a little bit more it's um it's got champion heads uh ported heads it's got uh it's got a bunch of champions set up it's got a dual Two fuel rails, um, 160 pound injectors. It's got a 72 millimeter precision. Fetch. Is that that one's a little bit bigger than? Yeah, he's got a 62, 62, and this is a 72. It's a little bit more of an old school setup. It's right. not, uh, it's not ball bearing or. So it takes a little bit to catch. No, no, with the converter setup and stuff, the spools, the spools, spools right faster than what you would think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I noticed that we have here because I was like, well, are you running nitrous? Because we see a, you know, wait, it's going straight to the. In yeah, no, that's, that's not, uh, not nitrous. It's not nitrous. It's a, <clears throat> it's what you would call like a seventh injector, just like a, a little bit of extra fuel, because um, we're almost tapped out on the, on the one sixty pounders on 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 ethanol with the with the with the setup. So, it's just a, like a little bit of an extra shot of of, of fuel. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. It turns on at fifteen pounds, uh, uh, with a hop switch, and you feel it when once you. No, no, it's just to to help kind of. Put more fuel yeah, into put in, it. Yeah, put in more, more fuel with the boost. Gotcha, gotcha. So on the weekend, because we talk, um, you did this setup here for the coil pack. Yeah, the last, the, the most recent uh, upgrade okay, that yeah. we did was the uh, the TR6 ignition uh, upgrade. Because um, I actually uh, blew up the stock one the other night. <laughs> I'm um, here trying to catch up on the RSX. And, yeah. You know. um, yeah, this is one thing I, I've been wanting to do for a while. And... The car's gone fast enough with the stock ignition. Um, it was due time. Yeah, people be surprised how fast you could go with stock ignition and the stock computer and stuff. But I mean, it's gone nine seconds, and there's been plenty of them that have gone nines with the stock ignition. With the stock ignition, but you know they're getting harder to find, and this is just kind of like an obvious upgrade. So it was like the perfect time to just go ahead and do it. Awesome. We were talking a little bit off camera because I see the pipings is different. You're running a different intercooler. Yeah, I'm running a a true front mount intercooler setup. Gabby's running a a stock location. A stock um, location. Yep. Obviously, that's why the pipings are. I also see on the side here you have a dump. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a fender exit for the downpipe and a, um, a dump for the wastegate setup. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. We so a lot of this is a lot of champion parts here. Yeah, it's got a lot of. It's pretty much all all top end is champion racing. It's um, which is actually local stuff. Florida, up north, a good friend of ours, uh, Tom, um, who unfortunately passed away. Oh, early. did he? Yeah. Okay. Last year we heard. Um, Sucks. But yeah, it's got Champion uh, alternate relocate just for the for the piping setup. Um, it's got Champion ported intake manifold, Champion ported uh, heads, um, their whole fuel rail setup. This is setup. the Champion intake manifold? Uh, yeah, it's a stock manifold but ported by Champion. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you don't have the strap on this car. You have the... No, I have uh, the h and part solid motor mounts and the h and parts uh, solid transmission mount bushings as well. So it does its job when you're launching this car. Like, it, it yeah, no, it's holding car, it, huh? Yeah, every, everything is, is nice and, and stout in terms of that. And there's not much vibrations at all. So you still get a little bit of comfortability on yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, I, you know, we, you know, I got in it today and we were coming over here and yeah, it definitely feels like... There's not a lot of vibration. No. It's, it's very, it's actually pleasant to drive. Car, yeah, car drives, car drives like a, like an '80s, uh, '80s GM. Something like <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Transmission wise, what are you running on the transmission? It's got a, it's got a built JW uh, Turbo 400. Gotcha. It's got a PTC converter, spec'd out by Dusty as well. And the Hurst shifter, three gears, right? It's yeah, it's a three-speed. So three you know, speed. I mean, for the track and stuff, it's it's awesome. It's 
it's plenty for the power. Um, it's got a trans brake. What about the gears in the back? What are you running? Is it? Is it's it got it's also a factory 342 gears. 342, huh? Yeah, 342 gears. Um, the rear end is has a also upgraded Mosier axles. Gotcha. Yep. And you're also running the 85. And yeah, fuel setup is a little bit more uh, robust than uh, Gabby's setup. Right. Um, but yeah, it's running two uh, two inline pumps. I have a fuel cell which we could. Uh, we we'll look at it now. It's, yeah, a, it's an eight gallon fuel cell, right? It's an eight gallon fuel cell because it was, you know, kind of built for to drive to that to that local track. To the local track. Yeah. And I see you have an upgraded brakes here, which um, Gabby's is not. Gabby's is stock, right? Yeah. Okay, so so this is some of the difference that this car yeah, has. What wheel wood? Wheel wood upgraded. What and what wheels are these? Those are uh, just like the the uh, the Jegs uh, Sportsman's. Fifteen by four or something. No, these like are that? these are seventeen by four. Seventeen by fours. Yeah. yeah, and fifteen by ten in the rear. Fifteen by ten. Huge tires in the back there. Those, those tires grip pretty good, huh? Yeah, the tires are great. Let's look at the fuel cell. All right, so we're back here. This is your eight gallon setup, and like you said, you were saying that this is mainly for the track when you had the track back in the days to come yep. and run it. Yeah, back then it was great. Uh, you could I could drive there and probably burn about a couple gallons, top off real quick, and keep running. have fun, and just drive back home. But now that our track is uh, up in West Palm, uh, I can't really drive a car up north. I would have to trailer it, which is fine too. But uh, would you ever think about like maybe changing the? Yeah, I actually want to either maybe go back to a to the stock tank now, or just upgrade this setup. They sell a bigger one, like more. Yeah, they, yeah, they have they have, they have bigger ones. Yeah. And we also see that you're having the back here a couple of sandbags, huh? Is that what you're doing? Actually, yeah. There's uh, there's a hundred pounds of sand. In there, in there. But it, but it, it helps. Yeah, right? we have it over the axle. Is just like a bit of weight, right, right where it pretty much matters to help. help Old school technology. Up. Yeah, it's kind of like the straps. Yep. Awesome, man. It looks good. I love the sticker here. They like getting gap. Yeah, that's actually a that's actually Georgia Automotive Performance. It's right. a, a good friend of Gabby's. So you were we were talking also off camera that what are some of the phases this car is going to go through now? Um, well, I just put fiberglass bumpers. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, comparing the two, you can tell that this car is in need. This car still has original. It's original. Original paint. Original, yeah. But this car was this car was daily driven. Actually, my my dad uh, drove it a lot, and my mom actually even drove it to work. Oh, did she? Yeah, way back in the day. Yeah. So the car, un unfortunately, you know, wasn't wasn't always uh, sitting. Just to sum it up, you were saying you were going to start doing some work on it. Yeah, um, I, I would like to kind of start restoring the car, you know, outside wise, similar to what I did with the with the hatch build. Um, well, you did a lot of good stuff. On yeah, that, I like, did a lot of good stuff. Now, not, not, now there's a lot of support with like companies like 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 Classic Industries right. and getting a lot of moldings and, and lights and stuff. So they're reproductioning these parts yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, yeah, the whole G bodies have gotten a lot of support lately. Gotcha. So gotcha. Uh, that's that's definitely the next step. Um, hopefully get it as clean as, as is. That's Gabby, huh? Um, and then maybe, who knows, maybe throw an LS on boost. Oh, <laughs> in the that's far, the in, next the, thing. in the not near, but maybe a decent future. A decent future. Yeah. Well, we can't get it so clean like Gabby because we're still going to beat on a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So, but definitely do a rest on it and it looks very good. So, this is the two difference, guys. You know, we got this one with 50,000 miles. This one making a lot more power. This, you know, great enjoyable cars. All right, guys, so I want to thank Gabby and I want to thank Andy for coming out, bringing out the cars. You know, we definitely have a lot more videos coming for his Civic. We have a lot more videos coming on these both cars. I, I think people are going to like these cars. Yeah. They're going to want to see it in the, in the, you know, the near future. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe and hit the thumbs up.